What's up guys? iOS 18 is finally here. Well, the beta version at least. If you want to be among the first to get your hands on Apple latest mobile operating system and try out all the new features before everyone else, just follow this step by step guide. I'm going to show you how to download and install the iOS 18 beta right now. And the best of all, you don't need a paid developer account to do it. So with this information, let's get it started. Section 1. Back up your device. Before we install any new software, it's crucial to back up your iPhone or iPad. That way, if anything unexpected happens during the installation process, all your data will be safe. To do this, download and install the latest version of iTunes and go to this section. On the backup tab, select this computer and click on the backup now button. Depending on the amount of data inside your device, the backup process may take longer, so be patient and wait. After the backup step from your device has been completed, you should see the word today in the latest backup section, which means that the backup has been completed and you now have a backup on your computer. Section 2. Download iOS 18 Meta Profile Now we are going to download and install the configuration profile that will allow you to get the iOS 18 Meta on your device. First, you need to link your Apple ID to Apple Developer Account. To do this, open up your Apple Store and on the search bar, search Apple Developer. As you can see. After that, tap on the Get button and wait for the download to complete. Be patient and wait, and after that, open up the Apple Developer application. So easy guys, just tap on open, and after that, touch continue, automatically sent, and now here we are. On this menu, tap on account tab, and after that, try to sign in your Apple ID. In this section, you have two options. Use the Apple ID already set on your iCloud, or use the new Apple ID to link the Apple Developer account. I will prefer to link my new one, so type your Apple ID's email and password. Now tap on sign in and wait. After that tap on enroll now and here uh, you have actually agreement, just tap on agree, agree and wait. Again agree and here we are guys, now we are ready to download and install the iOS 18 beta version. Now, if you choose a new Apple ID like me, log out of your previous iCloud account and log in with your new Apple ID that is linked to the developer account. After all, open up the settings and here you can see the update Apple ID settings. You need just to tap on the this section and go to the next menu. So be patient and wait and on this page, you will see the actually some option here and you have an option for beta updates. Just tap on here. And after that guys, as you can see, I have a two option for iOS 18 developer beta and iOS 17 developer beta. So it's obvious we need to actually install iOS 18 developer. So choose here and tap on back and here, just tap on update now button. After you tap on this button, a new version will be automatically downloaded on your device and after that it will be extracted. You don't need to do anything special. All the steps are down automatically and you can do your usual task with the device. The download and installation process may take half an hour to an hour depending on your internet speed. So don't worry and do your daily work. If the steps are completed, your device will be restored and after that, you will have iOS 18 on your hands. There is a very important point here that I must tell you. When your device goes into the restore mode and the screen goes black and you see the Apple logo, immediately connect it to the power source and also when you click on the update button, make sure that your device has more than 17% charge. Well, don't touch anything during the operation. Just wait and be patient until the loading is completely finished. Now as you can see guys, the loading is completed and it's time to active our device. 
just open up the main menu put your passcode and after that uh, touch the continue and here you can choose between your Wi-Fi or your uh, actually uh, cellular just agree yes again agree and after that guys wait till the active your device be patient and wait and that's it guys congratulations as you can see guys we have now iOS 18 in our device and let me show you on the actually settings and about the version of uh, iOS now we will go to about and here guys as you can see I have a iOS 18 on my actually iPhone 12 Pro Max which is so great we uh, actually we did it with each other guys it was so easy this tutorial is complete and full guide guys it's amazing section 4 new iOS 18 features once it has installed I will give you a quick peek at some of the biggest new features and changes in iOS 18 as you can see my friends there is some good changes on control center to customize it and as you can see you can turn on or turn off it and when you hold down your finger here you can customize your control center like this and actually move your tile and actually hold your finger and again stretch it to make it bigger than the first one as you can see like this hold your finger and here you can actually uh, make it bigger than actually another which is so great so you can customize your control center like this as you can see we have a more option to actually uh, move the uh, toggle under so the next one is uh, actually how to customize your home screen let me show you now go to home screen and touch here and hold down your finger like this and you will see the edit option here and you have a two option add widget or customize now select customize here you have a four option to select your icon style which is automatic dark light and tint and here as you can see uh, you have a option to change your icon color like this let me show you again go to edit customize and here as you can see you have another option to select your actually icon size which is small and large which is so great guys actually again let me show you here we have an option to change the color of your actually app on a side like this which is so great actually guys Apple made a, a great update in this part okay guys we are done here next video of course I will upload more about iOS 18 features and give you more details about them so don't forget to subscribe the channel and like this video and comment your experience about this new iOS and what do you think about that. As always, thank you for watching us. See you soon in the next one.